is my life insurance policy part of my probate estate? My name is Andrew Ayers. I'm an estate planning and business law attorney with offices in Edina, Minnesota, and New York City. And today, let's take a look at probably the most common question I get when we're looking at life insurance policies and how they factor into your estate plan. Before we dive too deep into this topic, let's first take a step back and talk about what is your probate estate. So in whatever state you live in, there is a court, whether it's called a probate court or surrogates court, it can have a a variety of different names. But the role of that court is to take assets for you after you're gone and make sure they're distributed to the right place. If you have a will, then the role of the court is to accept the will, find that it's valid, and then tell your personal representative or your executor that they should go distribute your assets. If you have children under 18, that personal representative will also make sure your children are given to the guardian you've designated, and they can also be the guardian. There's no rule against them serving that same role. And also, if you have kids under 18, we need a trustee to be able to manage the money for those children. So as a general rule, the probate court is there to take your assets and make sure they get distributed to where they need to go. If you have the will, then your will will say what happens. If you don't have a will, then what's happening is the probate court has to step in. They have to choose who should be the personal representative or the executor, and then they have to go through the process of what the state laws say as far as distributing your assets and making sure everything's taken care of after you're gone. Now, the key to this probate court is that you can choose that even if that if you don't like the local laws, for example, who would get your money, you can have that will and as part of your estate plan draft it correctly so that your assets go to the person you want them to go to, your children go to the guardian who you choose. When it comes to an asset like a life insurance policy, which is similar to a retirement account, the key difference with these assets is that they have something called a beneficiary designation. The beneficiary designation is a direct transfer upon your death. So in this case, let's talk about Mary and John. They're a married couple, and let's say John has a $10 million life insurance policy on his life. He's been the sole provider for the family. He's been making the money. If something happened to him and they have three children, we want to make sure they're taken care of, the house can be paid for, the college expenses can be paid off. So we have a $10 million life insurance policy for John. And so some great planning, but we need to make sure it's done correctly. And the way we do it correctly is look at that beneficiary designation. In most cases, the proper designation will be to marry directly as the spouse of John. In some cases, we may have actually done some different estate planning and created a trust for the family so that instead of the money going directly to Mary, it's going to go to John's family trust so that that $10 million can be distributed to the appropriate place. These are ways we want to set up our life insurance policy with the beneficiary designations. The problem you're going to run into, and it's similar again to the retirement accounts, is when you either one, do not set up a beneficiary designation, or two, you say to my estate. Now the problem with both of these is that $10 million now has to go through the probate court to be distributed. If you have a will, then that money goes into the will and gets distributed according to the terms of your will. If you don't have a will, then the probate judge has to be the one to step in and figure out where that $10 million goes. Chances are it's going to go to Mary at that point. If Mary's not around, it goes on to the children. But there's a big difference here. By having it go through the probate court, John may have left his family with a huge estate tax problem. You see, if John and Mary live in a state like New York or a state like Minnesota, that $10 million passing through the probate court can be taxed with the estate tax. Right now on the federal level, as I'm recording this video, that number is $13 million, but is scheduled to drop to about $6 million in a couple of years. So let's say it's five years from now, and that number still remains at $6 million on the federal level. Well, now John has left an estate tax for his family at both the state and the federal level. What that means is, instead of that full $10 million going to your family, the government, whether it's the state, whether it's the federal government, is going to take a portion of that money for taxes. And anybody who's created a life insurance policy can tell you that's probably not what you're intending. Especially if you're taking out a $10 million policy, you're probably doing it to protect your family, not to make sure you pay extra taxes to your state or the federal government. So it's extremely important, in the case of your life insurance policy, to make sure you work with your life insurance broker or with retirement accounts with your financial advisor and make sure you've got this beneficiary designation done correctly 
so we don't run into a estate tax problem. The fact is we don't want that life insurance policy, we don't want those proceeds to have to go through the probate court. We don't want your life insurance policy to be part of your probate estate. Now I've given you a lot of different terms and a lot of things to think about. So if you have more questions and you want to discuss this matter further, you can go to my website, andrewmairs.com. There's a red legal strategy session button at the front page. If you click that, you'll be taken to my personal scheduling page. We can set up a legal strategy session. It's a 15 or 20 minute phone call where we can discuss life insurance beneficiaries, maybe retirement account beneficiaries, and making sure we've got your entire estate plan taken care of. This is one of those little things that we don't want to miss when we're creating our estate plan. If you like this video, you, you can hit the like or thumbs up button below. You can go to YouTube and subscribe for future videos. And remember, when you're creating that life insurance policy, you want to make sure you get the beneficiary designation correct so that policy is not part of your probate estate.